Hey guys, so 4.5, this is very simple. Now, this is not the same as what you see on the package, okay? On the very first page of um, Unit 4 pa uh, package, it says 4.5 and something else. We're not doing it. So we are doing something else, which is how to find the vertex using now. Um, X intercepts not a vertex form. So this is U, sorry. So the key to know um, from the X, in X intercept and the vertex is this. So let's say I have an equation okay let's say I have a graph here so y and then x I have a vertex here let's say 3 comma 5 and I have a graph coming down and these two are let's say um, 1 comma 0 and 5 comma 0 okay now if you look at the x values of these three points you may see something very funny, very special. And the special thing is, this 3 is the middle point of 1 and 5. Now, how do I show that algebraically? Well, 3 is an average of these two points, these two numbers. So how do I get the average of? Well, I simply add the numbers and divide it by the number of additions, so, which is 2 in this case, which is 3. See, the x value of the vertex is simply the middle value of um, the x-intercepts, okay? Now, we are using this concept to find what the vertex is. So the step is very simple, okay? So the steps are, the first one is, well, basically add x values of x-intercepts. Now, two, then divided by two. And that is your x value of the vertex, okay? Now three, put that x value into an equation, or given equation, into an equation to find y value. Then four is that is your vertex, okay? So let's do actual example. So example one, we have x squared plus six x plus eight. Now remember, factoring, you need to know, okay? So this one, product and sum, product is eight, sum is six, so two numbers give it to me. Well, hopefully you know this one by now, oh, can I do this? Yeah, 2 times 4, 2 plus 4. So then we have x squared plus 2x plus 4x plus 8. So then x, x plus 2 plus 4, x plus 2. Then we have x plus 2 as this a common factor. And then we have x plus 4. So we have factored it. Now, from this, how am I supposed to know which value is the y, I'm sorry, x intercept? Really easy. Remember, this is y equals x um, plus 2, x plus 4. Now, for the x-intercept, the y value is always 0. So 0 equals x plus 2 and x plus 4. Now, uh, yeah. now a small remark. 0 times a number is always 0, right? Or number times zero always is zero. So whatever times zero is zero. Now I have zero here. I have two things multiplied together. So what if this equals zero or this equals zero? If either of is a zero, the whole multiplication will be zero. Okay, so that is the goal. Okay, so either x plus two equals zero or x plus four equals zero. So then x equals negative two, x equals negative four. So the x intercepts are negative two comma zero, negative four comma zero. So once we have the x intercepts, all we need to do is we just simply add the x values of the x intercepts. So negative two plus negative four over zero uh, over two is then negative six over two which is negative three. So we found the x value of the vertex. Now, 
once you find the x value of the vertex, all we need to do is plug this into the factored form. So we have then y equals negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 plus 4, which is negative 1 times 1, negative 1. So we have found what the y value is. Therefore, the vertex is negative 3 comma negative 1. Okay, that's how we do. Let's do one more example. So another example is example 2. We have y equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. So this one you need to, oops, sorry, uh, yeah, minus 6. So you need to factor this. So again, common factor first always, 2x squared minus 2x minus 3. So once I have that, now I'm going to just skip that um, factoring part. It's x minus 1, sorry, plus 1, and x minus 3, okay? So in this case, my x-intercept is whatever the value makes, this one 0, so x plus 1 equals a 0, or x minus 3 equals a 0. So x equals negative 1, or x equals 3. Now a shortcut is simply whatever the number you see inside, opposite sign of the same number, which is negative 1 in this case, or opposite sign of this number, which is positive 3, um, those are the x-intercepts. Okay. So once you have that, then we just simply add negative 1 and 3 and divide it by 2. So this will result in 2 over 2, which is 1. So this is the x value of your vertex. Then you put this 1 into the factored form. So the factored form, then we have y equals 2, 1 plus 1, and then 1 minus 3. So 2 times 2 times negative 2, which is negative 16. So our vertex is 1 comma Oops, sorry, negative 8, my bad. Negative 8, way, negative 8. Okay, so the vertex is 1 comma, negative 8. Okay? Then let's do the last example. Now, the last example is binomial. Doesn't really matter. Okay, it really, 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 really doesn't matter. Okay, so example 3, we have 4x squared minus 36. So same thing, well y equals. So then 4x squared minus 9. This is the difference of squares. Now you should be expert at this one by now. Okay. So we have x minus 3, x plus 3. So then the x-intercepts are positive 3 or negative 3. Opposite of the same number, opposite of the same number. So then we add those two. 3 plus negative 3 and divided by 2, and this is 0 over 2, which is a 0. So the x value of the vertex is a 0. Then you substitute it in into the factored form, now which then we um, we will get 0 minus 3, 0 plus, um, plus 3. So 4 times negative 9, which is negative 36. The verte ooh. So the vertex is 0 comma negative 36. So even though you have only two terms, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, if you only look, if you look at the question again, kind of looks similar to you. Remember this: when y equals a x squared plus, let's say k, the y-intercept is always zero. Sorry, um, not the y-intercept. The vertex is always zero comma k, right? If I don't have any brackets, the x value of the vertex will be always zero, and whatever that is k added at the end will be k in the vertex. So, what is k in this case? negative 36. So according to this, our vertex should be 0 comma negative 6. Now going through the algebraic process, we have 0 comma negative 6. So it actually works. Okay. All right. So that was the video for 4.5. Okay. All right. See you guys later.